So, YouTube, uh, we haven't talked in a while. I mean, we talked a little bit, kinda. But your boy is back home. Um, just got back from New York, and we're gonna be posting a New York vlog right now, which it's very half, like, it's like kind of a half a vlog. Um, but I got to spend some time with Jonathan Ogden and the Rivers and Robots crew, and I just got to spend some just genuine time uh, chilling in New York, which was honestly great experience. I really like New York. I've always liked New York. Um, even before I ever went there, I just always seen it as a beautiful place. But back home now and also working on the Beats Project. I'm gonna be releasing like another Beats Project with As Said By Me, which is my favorite YouTuber. Um, just some beats for his channel. But I'm gonna be releasing them under a side project, so I'm gonna be releasing more information on that soon. But basically like all my instrumental stuff, I don't think I wanna release it under Montel Fish just so it doesn't get too crowded. Um, it's gonna be more on the roots of this side project that I'm gonna be talking about soon. So if you wanna find out more information on that, just stay updated on Instagram, social media, different things like that. And also be on the lookout for Lord Child. Uh, me and Jonathan Ogden had some time to film. Uh, this just little interview that we did for Lord Child, but that'll be uploaded probably later this week. So if you stay updated on the Lord Child channel, you'll see that he also covers one of my favorite songs. I, I, requested him to so be on the lookout for that um be some super dope stuff for lord shot but nonetheless let's get into this new york vlog hey hey to the vlog <laughs> who, are, who are you guys hello, hello. i actually don't know <laughs> i'm jonathan i'm caleb philip and you guys are three, two, one. Rivers and Robots. That was pretty good. It wasn't very enthusiastic, but like, I'll take it. <laughs> so we're headed to a diner now. I'm about to grab some good food. <laughs> All right, so the guys at Rivers and Robots are going to answer some questions about themselves so you guys can get to know them more. This is very weird. I don't even know why I'm explaining this. All right, <laughs> Jonathan, uh, first question. Yes. How old are you, man? I'm um, 26. 26. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why, like, why do you do music? Or like, what got you started into music? And um, like I started doing music when I was like. Oh, Ooh, I'm gonna right. take this. All That's right. Good. There you go. Camera's right. on. So the reason I do music, um, I grew up in like a musical family. So my dad mm -hmm. used to lead worship in our church. Um, I've just like grown up in the church, and uh, yeah, always been a part of like the worship team since I was a little kid and all that stuff. And, um, I used to make a lot of electronic music growing up, so I was into, my older brother was a DJ and I used to like listen to a lot of what he was doing and I'd try and like make my own music with like random software and um, most of it wasn't very good. I'd do like really bad techno remixes of stuff on YouTube and like it was just generally not good but um, it wasn't until I was like 16 that I felt like God started calling me into like using music for worship and starting to write songs that way and mm -hmm. um, I didn't fully know what I was doing but I kind of just spent a year sitting at a piano and just singing and um, I'd take like a little songbook from church and sing through all those songs and then every now and then like new songs would come out. I'd record them the only way I knew how which was with electronic music so um, I was basically writing these like simple worship choruses and then recording it all with like synths and beats and electronic stuff. And, that's kind of like how Rivers and Robots started out. So. And that's yeah. why the name Rivers and Robots as well, because it's like the flowy, melodic chorus stuff mixed with electronic production. So, yes. there we go. <laughs> um, okay, last question. Yeah. What's your favorite part about touring? Mm. My favorite part about touring is, um, can I have two? Is that allowed? Yeah. All right. Sure. It's the traveling and meeting people. So um, I always like, I love writing songs at home and like producing stuff and working on that kind of thing, but then I just really enjoy when you actually travel somewhere and like people show up and sing the songs that you've been like writing in your bedroom and it still blows my mind like every night I'm supposed to have like these in-ear headphones in that like help me hear stuff but I always end up taking them out because I just want to hear people sing <laughs> so like I'm it's always, an like, experience for sure. It's so cool yeah. I always just like pull an ear out and like people know this song and they're wow. singing it like, this is crazy. Um, and then yeah just getting to hang out with people at the end and like 
hear all their stories and where they're from and all that stuff. It's just really cool. So, yeah. yeah. Let's see, bro. Hello, man. How, how old are you, Caleb? I am like Montel Fish, 21. Yes, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so, how'd you get into music? Like, and why do you do music? Yeah. Uh, so, I got into music really young. So, I started playing drums when I was like two and a half years old. So, it's like oh, pretty young. And um, I'm currently studying music still. So, oh, yeah. I currently go to music college back in the UK and I study pop music. So, music always been part of, part of my life. And yeah, just love, enjoy playing drums, yeah. writing stuff. And so, yeah, I all aspect music, bro. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite part about touring? Uh, uh, thing about touring, I think it's just being able to travel and seeing different place, places like we started from Florida all up to the East Coast and literally everywhere that we go is so different and literally it's not that far away. So yeah, I just love seeing the diversity and different people and all that stuff is really cool. For sure. So yeah, man. Right, thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Last but for sure not least. Oh, your shot looks the best too because you have like the best lighting on your face. Alright, so how old are you? I'm 26. 26 years old. Like Jonathan. In the country. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Um, okay, what's your? Well, what, you know, why do you do music and like, like, how'd you get started? Um, so, I think I started music when I just played. I don't know. I think I just played guitar, and, and then somebody liked it, and <laughs> just realized that whoa, like something so simple like playing chords <laughs> could literally make few people feel good. And yeah. Then, I mean, that was the beginning, and then I just realized that whoa. And I was in church, and you know, and, and being able to worship God. <laughs> I wanted to worship God, so I saw like this worship leader who was like all sweaty, playing guitar, <laughs> yes. and you know, like, and they needed a bassist, and I wanted to be in the worship team. And I was like a little kid, you know, mm. and I, being confident in nothing, <laughs> I just like raised my hand and was like, I could do the bass, even though I have no idea what it was, because I just wanted to be on stage. Yeah, but sooner, sooner or later, I just realized, whoa, like. I could do this for the Lord and you know, mm -hmm. I can worship God and this isn't about worshiping us on stage mm -hmm. but it's about like bringing the people into the presence of God and that, yes. that really hit me on the spot and I was like whoa I want to do music I want to be better in music mm -hmm. so that I could bring people into the presence of God and that we could worship God and that we could give back quality music and excellence mm -hmm. not to the people but to God again yes. and to glorify Him that way and so that's what got me hooked up, hooked on like, you know, getting to know music, listening to great musicians out there, mm -hmm. and stealing their technique and giving it to the Lord, so it's kind of like... That's how it works. That's, that's how it it's works, like, I guess, you know what I mean? But I like to say it doesn't belong to them in the first place, so... Yeah, just, there you go, so I'm just like, I'm, I'm collecting, yeah, I'm collecting and giving back to the Lord, so... Alright, what's your favorite part about touring? I think the favorite part about touring for me, like, is just being with these guys, you know, like, yeah. I feel like, you know, you're on stage and doing all that stuff, which is crazy and cool and everybody, you get to meet all the new people, but, like, I think it's just, like, behind the scenes that really makes band life, band life, I think. Yeah. You just get to know them, you, 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 they turn into your brothers, they got your back, you know, if you have something going on with your stomach, like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I, like I had this whole tour, they're there for you, they pray for you, you know, they watch out for you, so, yes. it's, it's, it's a great bonding. Oh, I would, man. I would, I would advise everybody to go touring because then that's great bonding time. Yes. Alright, that was solid bro.